blokes and blokettes, and welcome to what's going to be a playthrough of Shovel Knight, a game that was kickstarted a good while back and released on the PC, 3DS, and Wii U. I'm playing the PC version because Nintendo, or the developers, or whoever took their sweet fucking time getting the European Wii U version out. Not that it matters, because I can't record my Wii U anyway. But never mind that, let's just get into the game. Alright, we'll do a different save. Twat face, because I'm very mature. Okay. Uh, is there enough to write in cunty chops? Probably not. Where's the U? 23 years old and I don't know the alphabet. That's awesome. Uh, cunty chops. Damn it! Oh well. It's good enough. Alright, there is no voice acting in this game. That's probably readily apparent. Just look at it. So you get to listen to me do silly voices and I'm gonna say right away that when I do the Shovel Knight's voice I'm going to be attempting, at least, <coughs> to do the voice that Jesse Cox did in his videos. So in case you watch those and then for whatever reason watch me like you're copying Jesse, Fo Jesse Cox. I almost said Jesse Fox. That would have been interesting. Jesse Cox. It's not copying. It's an homage. You see. Uh, it's French. I know my shit. Okay. Anyway. Yes. Ready? Oh, that's lame. Sometimes it says something much better. Like, steal thy shovel! Look for shovelry! Anyway, before we get in, let's just look at the basic game mechanics. Basic attack, jump basic attack, and jump and hold down, and then you bounce off of enemies. Right, that's literally all you need to know. We do get magic abilities later, which is activated, which are activated, I should say, by hitting the R1 button, or RB button, because I'm using an Xbox One controller and the game's not even on PlayStation platform, so I don't know why I'm mentioning those buttons. But, um... Oh yeah, enemies show up again on the edge of the screen. Holy crap, they still drop new stuff. That's interesting. Anyway, never mind that. Uh, the RB button, though, by default, it's like up and attack, which is just a real pain to do if, you know, you're in the middle of combat and you need to quickly shoot out a projectile or something. You don't want to be faffing about with that, so in the options menu you can just set it to be RB. So that's Q. Now in regards to the structure of this playthrough, this first play session will hopefully encompass a couple of levels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop and restart the recording after each level, just that way they'll be segmented already into nice little episodes, anything that saves me some fucking editing, right? So, checkpoint. We can actually hit the checkpoints if I fucking turn around and look at it. I'm not going to do that, though. You get achievements for, like, breaking the checkpoints and getting through the level that way. I actually lost all of my achievements, so they're called feats in this game. Because I have the GOG version, so obviously it's not linked to, a, to any kind of an account. And, and I had to reinstall Windows at some point, so I lost most of, most of my data. And... Yeah, lost those achievements. It's a shame. It's a dragon! Oh, hello. Now, to beat him, we just pogo stick on his head. It's very lovely. Hopefully, I won't take damage. Hey, hey, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Gimme your shit, dragon. 
Uh, oh yeah, we can knock things at the enemies, which is nice. Oh, hello. There we are. No bother. The enemies, the skeleton enemies, actually get quite a bit harder by the end of the game. With their advanced blocking and their tactics. Damn them to the depths of hell. Ladders, ladders work in a weird kind of way in this game. You can't... Oop, hello. You can't jump off of them. Like, when you try to jump off to the side, you just sort of fall down to the side. Which, not a fan of, if I'm honest. Oh, hello. Oh, ah, bollocks, that was my own stupidity. I just walked into him like a fool. Yeah. But here's a music note. There's a bloke back in town we can give these to, and he'll give us money. Fuck you, Skull. He'll give us money, and we almost forgot about that. I don't know all of the secrets. I have beaten the game. I don't know all of the secrets, but uh, obviously I'll grab the ones that I remember. Seems like the moral thing to do. Okay. The music is fantastic, as you've probably already noticed. Well, maybe you haven't. I don't know how loud it's going to be after I finish editing it, so... Oh, well, never mind. Now, what I'd like to know just from a lore, character, story perspective, is what in the world possessed this man to pick a shovel as his main weapon? I mean, clearly, from the game, you can see the shovel is a more than effective weapon, but I'm just curious as to what that initial impetus behind that decision was. You know, what inspired the shovel? You know, I'm just, it'd be an interesting conversation to have, I'm sure. Boing! The platforming is great in this game, though I gotta say, it feels kind of heavy. Not in a bad way, but just in a way that you have to get used to. You know, if you're used to playing something like Mario, perhaps, which is much lighter. Having said that, the older Mario games are kind of heavy. So, I'm talking right out of my ass. But yeah, it is a bit heavy. You have to get used to that. You don't slip forward, though, like you did in the old Mario games. I went back and tried to play Mario 1 a while back, and I fucking hated it. It's actually why I don't like the, um, the new Super Mario Bros. games, as in new Super Mario Bros. Wii, or new Super Mario Bros. Wii U. I have to get that. There we go. I mean, I didn't have to get it, but, you know, like, but I had to. It's like, I didn't have to, but I had to. You understand, if you watch this, you play video games, you know that feeling that takes over deep down inside. And your soul. Ah, shite. Ooh, I don't like him. Break his skull just for good measure. It's not enough that I've killed him, I've desecrated him too. Debased him, defiled him. Some of the best words in the English language begin with the letter, letter D. You know, it's a fact. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Gotta get to that chest. And... Ooh, there we go. No, I was sure it was that. But you do. There we go. I knew I'd remember. Stick with me, kid, I'll learn you. Alright. But yeah, speaking of Shovel Knight and his shovel, then there's Shield Knight. I mean, here's someone taking the active decision to say, I'm not even going to carry a weapon. I mean, it's not like a shield can't be a good weapon, look at Captain America, but you know, I'm just saying that perhaps an actual legit weapon, or at least something that can be used as a weapon, might be good. I mean, we've seen in other forms of media the power of the shovel. I mean, check out the movie Secret Window, which I think was adapted from a Stephen King short story starring Johnny Depp. Ah! Wow, that was, that was fucking terrifying. Okay, now this is a bit harder, of course. Oh, there we go. Because you don't want to fall down and die in the pit, or lose all the treasure in the pit. That would suck, too. So, uh, looking now at the game... Oof, fuck. He's still my beating heart. Looking at the game again, though, and the graphics. The graphics are... Well, obviously the graphics are, you know, NES-type graphics. Which, I mean, from a technical standpoint, don't look great. It's more of an artistic kind of thing, and from an artistic standpoint, I like them. They're bright, they're colorful. But, uh... I think it'd be cool if they make a sequel. I mean, I don't know if they will. I hope they do. If they make a Shovel Knight 2, the shoveling, shovel harder, there we go. That would actually work. Shovel with a vengeance. 
But if they made a Shovel Knight 2, I'd love for them to progress on and then base it on SNES graphics. Uh, there we go. I'm now going to refer to it as the SNES, which is what I've always done ever since my youth. Saying NES NES or SNES sounds weird to me. It's the NES and the SNES. Nah, uh, I was worried I'd fuck that up there. I'm doing quite well, actually, which is shocking. I mean, of course, I got hit a couple of times, but, you know. I haven't really come close to dying. As I recall, this is a pretty long level. You know, what better way to introduce the game, eh? Big long-ass tutorial level. Uh, I knew you'd show your face sooner or later, the cerulean coward! Turn back, Shovel Knight! There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I have no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate! Your time away has dulled your senses. Can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress, and her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the Tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel! <laughs> I love that, then. That little chirpy laugh. That's adorable. Anyway. Ah, shite. You know, actually, I was thinking of the long level. That's actually the next level that I was thinking of. Never mind me. Anyway, he does a bunch of... Actually, I'm trying to even remember what his attacks are. Obviously, when he jumps, you want to jump after him. You can fire that projectile back at him, and there's an achievement for beating him with that. Ooh. Okay, here we go. You don't do here. I fucked it up royally. But when he's jumping up, you want to hit him with just this attack. Oh, here we go. Later on in the game, there are more than one boss fight. There. English, can you speak it? There is more than one boss fight with him, and uh, of course he'll start flinging it back at you when you fling it towards him, you know, it's like Phantom Ganon fights with in Zelda games. Ah, oh, I'm trying to knock him out of the air, I'm trying to be fancy. And now I'm probably going to get myself killed. It's okay, it's okay, we just have to concentrate. I'm not turning around fast enough. Uh, what's he going to do? Here we go. It's okay, if I fuck up something with the analog stick, I can just blame it on the Xbox One controller. Glorious. Oh, that slow motion defeat thing. Oh, cool, an achievement. Don't know what it was for, but... I got it. That's always nice. That's right, run away, you fucking bitch! Don't mess with the shovel, or you'll get... shoveled. I don't know, couldn't really think of anything there. Now... Alright, here are little sequences that happen after the main boss fights. You go to sleep at your camp, and then you dream about Shield Knight, and you've got a catcher. These get progressively harder throughout the game, as you actually have to fight enemies and then try and grab her. Honestly, I don't actually know what happens... Oh shit, my phone just rumbled. Anyway, I don't actually know what happens if you don't grab her, because I've never not grabbed her before, so you know how that is. Now if you waggle the stick about he does this, you've got to jump! Leap into action! Oh yes. There you go. You get a little achievement the first time you do that as well. Which I'll just quickly go into the feet screen. Victory! Finish the game. Shovel victory! The best kind of victory. Um, one of the really hard ones is like one that's completely inconsequential, happens in town. Uh, I have... Oh, finish any stage without dying. Oh, sweet. Let's see, I have it, so it's near enough the end. Ah, here we go. Bounce on the hoop kid's hoop for five seconds. That is much harder than you think it should be. Only you. Yeah, here we go. Use caution and common sense around the campfires. So yeah, put out the campfire. Oh, the B button also attacks in addition to the X button. Y doesn't do anything. Fuck the Y button. We don't care about the Y button. Alrighty, and here's the world map. We can... Oh, we do have to go into the town first. Alright, that's good. Okay. I'm going to end this first episode here. I'm going to immediately start playing again, because, you know, we're going to knock out a few of these. But for the sake of keeping them in their own confined episodes, we're going to end it here and then immediately jump back in, go into the village, and then we'll head up north to fight King Knight. So hopefully you'll come back for that. <laughs>